Hello, this is Sherry with Palette to Palette, and welcome back. I'm sorry that you can't see me and that you can only see the craft table, um, but we are painting our noodle board. This is um, part three um, of the vinyl um, stencil series on how to use a vinyl stencil, how to apply the vinyl stencil, and how to paint a sign or noodle board in this case with a vinyl stencil. Now, if you miss parts one and two, and, but you know how to um, ad adhere a vinyl stencil um, to a piece of wood, um, starting with the weeding of the product, then, you, um, then you're all caught up. And um, the first thing I wanna say is if you're just putting your vinyl on your um, project and it's a hanging project, make sure that if your hanging hardware is already on your material, that it is pointing up. Um, now in uh, part two, I mentioned that we could use the backing that we pulled off of the stencil. And this is, um, this is a piece of that, and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna need. We're also gonna need um, painting sponges, okay? Just makeup wedges. Um, the firmer they are, the better. Uh, when they're not as firm and um, not as good of a quality, there's air when they're not as dense and they will create foam when you're dabbing your paint. Um, you're gonna hear me say dab a lot because that is what we're going to do when, I'm gonna see how far this gets me, okay? It's about a little bit, it's about a quarter size pool of paint. And I'm going to um, start painting my noodle board using well, I'll show you here, but then I, I might move this off of my project. But, um, so we're gonna uh, dab the end of the sponge into the paint so that there's paint on it. You gotta make sure that there's paint on it. And then we're going to dab it back off. So we're loading paint on it and then we're unloading before we start doing this. And we're not pushing, we're not smashing, we're just dabbing. And I'm dabbing lightly and I'm going up and down um, across the letter or whatever I'm stenciling. And I'm gonna get some more paint and I'm gonna dab it back off in another spot on my, my backing sheet and then I'm gonna start dabbing again. So you don't wanna push down because um, well, all of these are reasons that you, uh, are things that you don't wanna do so that you don't get paint to bleed. Okay, you don't want paint to bleed. The whole purpose of using the stencil is so that we get nice, crisp, clean um, lines or art on our project that we're painting. So when we dab with the makeup sponge, um, you're doing light coats. You're not putting a ton of paint on it so it can't go up underneath the vinyl. And you're not squeezing it down so that it can't go up underneath the vinyl. We want everything to be nice and crisp so we're loading it, we're unloading it, and then we're dabbing. And you might need more than one coat to get the look that you want, but that's okay. You don't wanna go too fast with this process because you want those nice, crisp, clean lines. And that's another reason that I like the black. I like using the black matte um, temporary um, stencil or ten temporary vinyl because of the way that you can see the letters. I can see the paint on the letters um, better, I think, than using any other color or even the stencil vinyl. So this is what I use, and I've been using it um, for five years. I actually just had to change um, vendors, well, and, and the type. So I was using um, Oracal, um, temporary um, adhesive matte vinyl. I think it's 631, um, because I did have some permanent, too, which I think is 651. But, um, so Oracal, 
uh, became very difficult to get. Um, the suppliers that I was getting it from um, did not have um, an agreement, I guess, to be a licensed Oracal seller, and Oracal was trying to um, tell them what prices they had to sell it at, and they were changing all kinds of things around and, and whatever, so it made it more difficult to get, um, which then drove the price up. So then I started using um, the StarCraft. Um, same, almost the same exact thing. Um, it's StarCraft matte, temporary um, adhesive vinyl, and it works just like the other did that I've been using for four plus years. Um, I've actually been, been using it for about 10 years, um, but I didn't actually start doing it as a business until four years ago. Let's see, I'm getting paint on and I'm dabbing it back off every single time. Now I do have to find out from my client if she wants the heart in red. She told me that she wanted everything in this cream ivory color, but I'm not sure if she wants the heart that color too. I think she does, but I better double check. Okay. We are going to text her and find out. So we will continue on with everything except the heart. Well, I'm actually gonna do the heart um, too because if she does want it red, we can do the red on top of this. But I think based on knowing her and her taste, I think she's gonna go with the ivory. We will see. Oh, let's see what she says. Yep, ivory. <laughs> all right, so we're good to go after we get all the ivory on the whole thing, and I will weed or I'll pull the vinyl off. Now, if you're if it's the first time that you're doing this um, and you're watching this video as a result of um, my sign painting parties and you or you bought a kit from me and you're using the vinyl stencil um don't be nervous when you start pulling the um the vinyl um you don't want to leave the vinyl on too long because of the adhesive on it and you don't want to leave it in the sun or anything like that um if you if you had a hair dryer out in a different step to help dry, um, speed up this drying time on your on your actual board, I stained this one. Um, but if you're if you're using a kit, one of my paint party kits or um, sign painting party to go, then um, in the directions that you received, you might have had a hair dryer out to speed up the drying time of the paint. Do not use a hair dryer on this part. You will melt the vinyl, the paint and the vinyl will all melt into one, and um, it will just be a giant mess. So don't use a hair dryer once you get the vinyl on here. You don't wanna, you don't wanna let this get um, heat um, on it. So don't set it in the sun, don't use a hair dryer. So we're just gonna dab, dab, dab. So you're dabbing your paint on, you're dabbing your paint off, And someone's speeding past my house in a motorcycle. <laughs> I don't know if you could have heard if you could hear that or not. <laughs> we got this security camera 
um, going with the sound on so that I can tell if somebody comes to the door. Um, normally, um, Shadow, my Cocker Spaniel, will tell me if somebody's at the door. Um, I've got a doorbell up there with no battery in it, so if they're ringing the doorbell, I have no idea somebody's here. So now that I'm way out back here in the studio, I can't, I can't normally tell. So I have that security camera going um, because um, Shadow's losing his hearing a little bit. And you really gotta yell at him for him to hear, so he's not gonna know that somebody's at the front door. Um, normally he, you know, he would have been able to hear them walk up the step, but he's um, 11 now, and you know, his hearing's just not as great as it used to be. Like I have to like use sign language with him now. Like I have to get his attention and go like this, you know, to um, get him to go outside to go to the bathroom. He's still very playful and, you know, he plays with the grandkids all day long and everything, but um, he just, just can't hear very good anymore. I don't even think I'm going to need a second coat. I think it, it went on pretty good with um, most of the letters. I'll, I'll double check some of them. Or I'll double check all of them. And make sure that there's no, no light spots or any spots that I missed coverage. And I'm sorry for the awful quality of this video as well. Um, normally I have the laptop and an overhead camera so you can see front and side or front and overhead. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. Um, usually I have um, front view and overhead view um, cameras and not crazy angle camera view backwards. Um, <laughs> backwards writing and all that good stuff. Um, but I was running stuff on the lasers, so I needed the laptop over there, which means I can't use the overhead camera because that connects into the USB and there's not a USB on the iPad and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I'm just double checking everything on this. And I think, um, yep, yeah, right here. I need a little bit more on the A and the Y. Must have got a little crazy there. Okay, and I never put more paint on here. I used that quarter size pool of paint and it did this whole, um, this whole noodle board. Um, if it was any bigger, I would have needed some more. So I used one makeup wedge and I used um, a quarter size pool of paint to do the whole thing. So again, if you're getting one of my kits, um, you probably got um, like a half an ounce um, of paint, which is about the size of the quarter. Um, if, if, if you got a kit that had these cups in it, I think these are one ounce. So this is one ounce of paint, and that's a ton of paint actually in there. So you probably um, got one that was half full or quarter full. <laughs> and the, the quarter is actually a quarter of an ounce. Quarter size pool of paint is about a quarter of an ounce. So if you got this and it was only a quarter full, that should be enough to do your whole board um, as far as the stencil part goes. All right, we are going to um, pull the vinyl. So you don't have to let, you did such a light coat that we don't have to let the vinyl um, set on here for the paint to, to dry. You just don't wanna stick your, your hand in it and smudge anything, but most of this is, is dry already, except for what's on top of the, um, the vinyl. So down here on top of the vinyl, um, is still a little damp, but the actual letter that's on the, the wood, the paint on the wood, is good. So I'm going to start peeling. So pick a corner 
and again you're going to start peeling in um, an angle and your vinyl is going to rip that's fine it's going to rip it's going to tear that's okay we don't need it we're throwing it out we want to keep the letters that we painted underneath okay so don't worry that it's ripping just find another spot that you can peel it up and if you can't find any spots to peel it up then go ahead and grab that um, weeding tool again a pick a toothpick um, a sewing needle will work um, to go gently up underneath the vinyl to lift it lift the sticky part and then um, you can continue pulling it up so I'm just doing that on this part it doesn't matter how messy it is because we're throwing it in the garbage it's one time use vinyl stencil but they come out with nice crisp clean letters and remember these two pieces were on top of each other so they're already stuck together there so I'm just gonna keep going and get this whole thing pulled up and then I'll show you what we do with the centers of the letters that are still there so that was the whole purpose of the transfer tape that we had on top was to keep the centers of the letters in place because we needed those there so that we didn't get any paint in those spots. So now you take your weeding tool and you're just going gently up underneath. You're not digging it into the wood. You're just going slightly underneath. Now this one, because it's uh, because I have the seam right here, I can pull up pretty easy. Now I'm gonna go back in with a paintbrush and make sure that it's nice and um, clean right in here and that the letters connect where the seam is. Um, you, can't, you can't always get a good fit when you've got the seam, um, but you can go back in with a paintbrush and touch that up. Okay, so I'm just peeling out the centers of the letters And since this is a noodle board, once I get that finished, then I seal the whole thing with um, a beeswax. And then that cures for 24 hours. And then I do another coat of the beeswax that cures for another 24. Then I'll put handles on it and then it will be ready to go to the customer. But it came out fantastic. I love it. And let me see if I can get this flipped around so you'll get to see me and my mess and everything too. <laughs> Hold on just a second. <gasps> Hello. All right, let me flip this around. Okay, miss. Okay, it's not going to let me. So I will turn the whole thing around so that you can see it. Keep watching for more videos because I'll be doing some more. Thanks. Bye.